Hey, what's up? Back again. First base note hit me in the chest, and I was just like, there's no way that's too late. MB Enclosures it has his own YouTube channel, and this guy is an animal when it comes to designing boxes. And hey, what's up, y'all? The science is back to correct something. I had to delete the other video because I actually did explain it incorrectly and had y'all looking at some numbers that though was not right. In fact, I put the numbers up there and it should have keyed me then because I knew when I did it, I said, no, that's, that's not what I came up when I did it. <laughs> Off the camera, decided to get the 41506. And even though some people say I'm wrong in my opinion about different subs and different applications, I take all that because it's my opinion. But I cannot have an opinion on math. Math is math. And that's what I'm giving you when I say coronary is king. Number one. All other features factors being equal, it's all based on math. So I got to correct the math. You cannot add the two cone areas of two six to half with a radiating surface area of 5.5 plus 5.5 and say you got 11 inch cone. That is incorrect. By adding but two five to halves does have more cone area than one eight because of the radiating surface area they're gonna have. DD gives true SD ratings. What's actual rating? The cutout, the cutout on the subwoof is eight inches. The actual eight SD is half. Half inch is, is, is taking an take inch off, which is half of the surround, which puts you right in the middle. So the piston diameter is seven. Seven is three and a half. The radius is three and a half, times three and a half, times 3.14. 3.14, which is pi, which will give you a radiating cone of 38. 38, which is five, and in some cases, five to seven uh, inches greater, square inches greater than those who have a seven and three inch cutout. That's why I say it, and I stand by that. This subwoofer has the largest cutout. And there's another. The J Audio has a radiating surface area of 38 inches as well. Okay, now, the radiating surface area of this 1506 is five and a half. Five and a half divided by two is 2.75. 2.75 times 2.75 times pi is 20, I think it's 23.74. Yeah, 23.74. Let's look at it. 2.75 times 2.75 times pi is 2.3, 2.374. So the cone area of this sub, uh, is 20, 23.7 inches, square inches, against 38. No comparison, okay? Now, when you multiply this by two, you get 47 square inches. Uh, the guy, I think, Vent W, when he when I read his comment, because he's one of the guys that, that has been following me for a long time, sometimes he agree with me, sometimes he disagree with me. But when he pointed out the math, I was like, wait, 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 I didn't say that. And then I watched the video and I realized, oh, yes, you did say you had five and a half plus five and a half. And you come up with 11. And that's not right. I have you believe you get three six and a half, you have the same cone area as 15. Uh, no. <laughs> that's not going to happen. You you would have to get three to equal. You'd be more than 110. And you'd be more than a cone area of 110. And you would have to get four to actually four let me see let me see the 23.7 times four will give you four let me give you cone of roughly of 112. so what i have done every other, every other thing i said on the statement was true i have increased i have increased the motor force of the radiating surface area that's moving by increasing the strength of the motor 120 ounces to 240 two times the motor force, and effectively have a bigger supercharging ring by having the two inch uh, supercharging ring that's inside this voice coil is going to be greater in totality by having two times the motor force than having the two and a half uh, ring on this side because I'm gonna have two and I'm gonna do the same formula, half the radius times the radius times 3.14, and when you add the two together, I'm gonna have a bigger ring than I have on my supercharged 
25 away. So all factors being equal in the same volume, I have increased the radiating surface area. Four of these will be louder than two. However, there is a cost difference. There's a cost difference. It will be, it, it, and this is not the budget challenge, it will cost more to do this. It will cost more to do this. With most six and a half, it's going to cost you more, but the benefit of having the 16 and a half, six and a half is in the same space. If you had the space, let's say you got the space to run four 25 weeks, and but you don't have, uh, it'll be in the smallest recommended volume. Well, you could put the 1506 in that same volume, and it'll be in its, it'll be in its maximum recommended volume. It's most efficient and close. So you have a better depth to the base, and I haven't made that video yet to understand, let y'all understand what depth to the base is. So with that being said, I hope this classifies everything, clears up everything on the video. Uh, I did delete it because I didn't want to put the math out there incorrectly. My opinion on different subwoofers and the other things I say is my opinion, but you can't have an opinion on math. This is true. The math has to be, the math is not based on opinion. Math is is what I always say, math is based on facts. So it takes two of these to overcome the cone area of one of these, but two of these is not greater than 110. 110 has a radiating surface area of 56. Uh, if you use like the DD710, which the piston diameter is eight and a half. So it's four and a quarter times four and a quarter times 3.14, and you can come up with 56. So I'm 10, I am 10 square inches less with two 1506s, but I am uh, uh, eight square inches more than one twenty-five away. Okay, and that was the logic behind. That's why the mad scientist suggested that's what we're doing, and that's what my had to go take this out the <laughs> take this out the box downstairs just to bring it up here for for clarifications. And I hope that clears up those of uh, those even for my haters. They're just looking for something bad to say anyway. Uh, my haters just looking for something bad to say anyway. Uh, who cares? Keep watching. You know, everybody know me. Know why? Who know I really am? Know I will fix it. If I'm corona, I'm corona. I will fix it. Peace.